All right, so I've been doing a lot of tests with several different frost comps. The, the issue right now is there's so many comps and they're all somewhat viable depending on your level of gameplay. You know, if you're free to play casual to hardcore, dolphin, whale, and so on. Not only that, the there are units now, characters, weapons, whatever you want to call it, in the game that has multiple skills and then testing in between those, specifically with Yulon and her forms, and then Fiona and her sub-skills. And then mix and match and trying to find the right combination is, is very time consuming. Uh, but what I did was I did a couple of tests between, I guess, kind of the newer modern um, uh, ice comps. Uh, but based off my account, so one of the things with my account is I have an A0 Fiona. Uh, so I, I'm just going to tell you now, A0 Fiona is not worth it on a Frost Comp. If that's all you got, by all means use it. It does work. It's not bad, but it is far from being the best. Um, Saki is actually still pretty viable. Uh, I wouldn't rule her out again if you're like a newer player. You know she's about to go on the standard banner. If you get an A1 Saki, it still works, and Saki is probably one of the most practical units, especially for a uh, newer player. I still use this this uh, team when I just like want to solo. Um, Join operations or something because of the survivability, the iframes, and so on. It's just it's easier. <laughs> um, and right now, this is probably going to be my main team. It is going to be Yulon, Alice, and Icarus. I'm actually going to test uh, Alice with Saki to swap it out and Lin. Again, there's so much testing; it's so difficult. It, it's just so time consuming to do this. But I'm going to show you a couple things that I found. Uh, first thing I was testing was um, uh, the Yulon, Alice, and Fiona weapon set. And Yulon is the primary on-field DPS, so she benefits from having the your, your best DPS uh, matrices. So free-to-plays, this is probably like the best free-to-play set. You know, you can use Crow or a combination between Samir, Crow, and um, Shiro. Uh, I also picked up a four piece uh, Yulon set that's not quite free to play friendly, but um, well, it is what it is. That's what I got. And then I was testing other matrices. So I have my um, Saki set, but I was also uh, testing it, putting Yulon and even Claudia. And to be honest, Claudia actually worked pretty well. It actually probably worked the best out of these three sets. I also tried uh, Habola and. Um, they're all very comparable, uh, so there's no real right or wrong with it. Also, with Alice, I tried you know putting Saki and Habola on there. Um, again, pretty much all the same. Okay, so for one of the first tests uh, using Fiona, uh, I did test a couple of her sub skills. I I tried it with uh, Maelstrom. Uh, Vortex, Wellspring, and Hydro Focus, kind of the main ones to use. I did find that uh, Wellspring and Hydro Focus will give me a little bit, maybe about 5% more damage. Uh, so I am just going to stick with that from now on. Uh, in regards to uh, Fiona, also using um, Martial Artist form on Yulon. So I won't go into details. I mean, unless you want me to let me know in the comments below, but the combo is, oh, I already messed it up, <laughs> is to start off with the skills. You want to be in Yulon as long as possible and build up her charges down below. You can see I have three stacks. Once you get five stacks, you use her skill um, and then continue to build up the stacks until you have enough to do two discharges uh, for all of your skills. Now what I'm still trying to learn is what is the best way to build this up. And once you get a uh, five sacks user skill, so now I have them, I'm going to jump cancel um, Alice's discharge, going to Fiona's discharge, Fiona's skill, and then right back into Yula and do it all over again. And that's pretty much all you do in the martial arts form. Oops, a little premature there. Yeah, I don't know the best way for Yulon to get her damage. I haven't actually tested it for normal attacks. You know, should I just 
do normal attacks, should I do uh, aerial attacks and whatnot? Okay, so now I'm going to use Alice's Discharge, jump cancel it, use her skill, go into Fiona's Discharge, then Fiona's skill, and then right back into Yulon and start building it up. And then when I get the five stacks, I will use her skill. Okay, and here we go. So now I'm going to use um, that. <laughs> it's hard to do this and speak at the same time. And now I'm right back into you. So again, you can see my damage. Uh, you know, I, I, I messed up the rotation a little bit, but it's pretty much the same and consistent that I have had. I'm getting about 130, 140 within a million within two minutes. But you can see the damage is roughly like uh, 40, I would say 35 to 40 mil. Um, Fiona does so little damage in here. Again, she is A0, so A1, especially with her matrices, might change it. But for A0 with no matrices, I don't think she's even worth using because she just doesn't do enough uh, damage. Plus her benefit, her uh, buffing is, it's good, but it's not enough. Um, and then um, Alice is not really doing much here uh, you're really using her for clones but since you don't discharge that much her clones don't or not discharge use skills that much her clones don't do that much damage so it's you, you can just I mean you can see the different eight almost 90% of damage is from Yulon um, and again I was testing a number of combination of matrices you know they're all within maybe a 5% uh, difference nothing significant that said, would say okay use this matrix set over this matrix set then I started testing um, Yulon's uh, sweeping form and I want to see what was the best uh, setup for that again for my account and so I stuck with the same uh, Yulon tray I went in and tried to play and you, you do play it very differently so you need to get Yulon's um, uh, discharge off as soon as possible because her buff doesn't start until the discharge so I'm just trying to get her discharge but you can see how long it's taking so now I got to di her discharge and you can see her buffs are starting and I'm gonna go into skills now the difference between sweeping form and martial artist is sweeping form is much faster you can see the count of her buff is increasing fast uh, so it really wants you to uh, rotate through discharges much faster and this team is not really designed to do it it's designed to hit harder not really to swap through weapons uh, continuously so that's why I don't think uh, this team is good for sweeping form martial arts is probably the best uh, it, it still works but it's just not optimal compared to yeah the other form so I'll go ahead and finish this for two minutes again I'm pretty sure my rotations all off but it, it's just very different the entire flow is very different uh, it doesn't quite feel the same the numbers are already much lower uh, now if my Fiona hit harder that might be a little different story, but I still think uh, the martial arts form is probably better overall with the harder hitting Fiona. Uh, yeah, this, it's just, yeah, I, I would say don't use this team with uh, sweeping form. It just doesn't feel as good. But you can see the numbers are actually pretty comparable. About 130 mil, yeah, 130 mil, very similar. Again, rotation's way off, but um, uh, again, so also with sweeping form, uh, Yulon doesn't do the most damage compared to martial arts form. The uh, it's a little bit more separated, so you can see she did 64 percent here, and. Uh, Alice did almost 30%, my Fiona did 4%. So again, if you had a, a harder hitting Fiona, it would work a little bit better, but I still think the other form is better overall. So now that sweeping form is better for spreading your damage out. So Yulon still being the main damage dealer, but also other people are doing damage. They're having time on the field, as well as um, cycling through 
weapons a little bit faster. A better team for this uh, seems to be with Icarus. So Icarus is a pretty good uh, on-field DPS unit. Uh, actually, let me switch up here. Uh, Alice is still good back in support, and U Ulan is still the front main DPS damage. And there is some synergy here. U Ulan will reset Icarus's uh, discharge, and you know once his dis he discharges, that resets his yo-yos. His yo-yos builds up charge, it resets U Ulan, and rinse and repeat. So I'll show you what I mean here. So you always start off with Alice's. Um, Bones. and then I'm gonna go into the yo-yos discharge into you line and you can see it already reset Icarus's discharge so now you do the Icarus jump cancel you do his yo-yos you can do a little bit you more yo-yos here go all the way if you want go or if it's taking too long go into Alice to speed it up a bit and then discharge into you line use her skill again and discharge right back into Icarus and rinse and repeat. Um, yeah, this seems to be the most optimal, at least for my account, team for Yulon. It does the most damage. It feels much better for my playstyle. It feels much better. I still don't necessarily like the jump cancel, uh, but it is what it is. But I do like this fast paced changing. Um, teams, especially with Yulon now that uh, she hits hard, oh, jump cancel Icarus. Gotta remind myself to do that. But you can see the damage difference is already significant. Now, of course, oops, I just completely messed up there. Let, let me switch back so I can discharge into Yulon. But even with that mess up, the damage, I've already pretty much met the damage from the other team. Now the uh, uh, with Fiona. Now again, keep in mind, I forgot jump cancel there. That my Fiona is only a zero, but even still, I think the A one wouldn't match uh, what this team can do. I'm at one sixty mil already, and completely messed up the rotation. Also, keep in mind this is an A zero Fiona or Yulon A zero. Okay, I'm at the two minute mark, so let me pull this out. You can see, yeah, 40 mil, 30 mil. Again, very scuffed rotation here. Um, Icarus, again, is uh, doing what? A, about 20, a little over 20% of the damage. Um, Icarus's skill, his yo yo's, does most of the damage, 25 uh, mil. That is significantly more than what Fiona can do. Uh, again, an A0 Fiona. Uh, I would even say A1 Fiona probably can't do that much. Even with her matrices, is probably when you start getting up in the higher um, levels of Fiona and with higher levels of matrices where it, it probably starts exceeding this. Uh, and then my Alice, A6 Alice. So Alice isn't doing that much damage, but she does synergize uh, pretty well. So now I'm going to try and mix it up a bit even more. So I'm going to take Alice out. So again, Alice does synergize very well for off field, but Lynn is also a pretty good off field as well. Uh, you just throw her fields down and um, let Icarus and Yulan do the rest of the damage. So I am going to change the matrices. I'm going to put Habola on Lynn that has already been proven on my previous test to actually work out pretty well. Claudia actually works pretty good. I mean, a lot of any off field um, matrices set would work really well, but Habola seems to um, maybe be the best free to play uh, matrices for her. So again, DPS matrices on Yulon, and I put my Yulon matrices on, you could say any limited set, it could be Yulon, it could be Saki, whatever, on Icarus, or even if you want to put free to play. So let's see how this works out. Um, this is actually my first time trying this, so uh, I'm not exactly sure how it should start. I guess I'm going to start with Lin's uh, double field. Uh, I'm going to go into Icarus's skills, and then I'm going to go into Yulon, start um, building her up, going to discharge, discharge into Icarus, get his yo-yos going. Uh, hmm. A little slow, let's see, you go into Lin maybe? Yeah, that might have been a bad 
choice and let's go into Yulon. Now we're in the cycle where we're going between uh, Yulon and Icarus. And then I'm going to throw in the Lin uh, when I can, just like that. And now I'm back into Yulon, into her skill, into Icarus, jump cancel, yo-yos. Uh, I'm going to Icarus a little bit more because Lin's not up. Actually, I'm just going to go all the way and then discharge into Yulon. Just keep the punching going, do her skill, discharge into Icarus. Now I'm going to switch over to Lin after the yo-yos because I think Lin's uh, skill is up. Yeah, Lin's skill is up. Throw those down, discharge into Yulon. Pretty much rinse and repeat. Takes a little while to get used to. The muscle memory is not there. But yeah, I can see th this does work. Um, what happened to my skill? I, I must have messed up somewhere. Okay, I'm going to switch over to Lin, throw her field down and then oh I throw a field down switch into Yulon do her skill do Icarus jump cancel the yo-yo and I'm just gonna keep yo-yoing to get Yulon's discharge discharge into Yulon and I'm at the two minute mark so a little bit less damage but again very scuffed rotation but it is still pretty viable it does work pretty well um, you can see, yeah, again, 63, 20%. That, that's pretty much what it seems like when you use um, Yulon and Icarus. The, the separation, you're going to have like 60, 65 to 20, 25% between Icarus and Yulon. And then whoever you put on the back is going to make up the difference. So, yeah, you can see Lin is all passive. That's why Habola works really well with her. Uh, that's, that's some pretty good damage. Again, I'm pretty sure I can squeeze out some bigger numbers if I didn't have such a scuffed rotation. Okay, so now I'm going to try to switch it out with Saki. This one's going to be interesting because the weapon swapping is already pretty good. I'm going to put Saki matrices on Saki. And let me dump that. Um, all right, let's see how this goes. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to start off with Saki. I'm going to trigger the Fantasia, go into Yulon, go into her skill, and I'm pretty much in the combo already. Now I'm going to Icarus, do his discharge, his yo-yos, and then I'm going to go into Yulon. Oh, I got skill resets too. I forgot about that. <laughs> I completely forgot about that. Oh my goodness, it's so much faster. Okay, go to Icarus, jump cancel, go to his yo-yos. I don't even have a chance to get into Saki. Right here, okay. Um, oh my goodness. <laughs> it's it's too fast now. Jump cancel. I'm not even using Saki at all. Okay, right here. I'll oh, my, I was planning on using Saki. Okay, let me jump cancel. Do the yo-yos. Going to Yulon Discharge, Yulon Skill, Icarus Discharge, Icarus Yo-yos, Rinse and Repeat. Let me switch to Saki. I, oh, I, I squeezed it in. Okay, Trigger Fantasia. Oh my goodness, I just jump canceled my... Oh no, okay, that was right. <laughs> I, I messed that up. I scuffed that. Discharge into Yulon. I meant to go into Yulon. Uh, jump cancel Icarus. Let's get that in. Squeeze in Asaki. Trigger Fantasia. Go discharge Yulon. Discharge or skill. Discharge Icarus. Jump cancel. Yo yo. Yo yo. Skill. And my Yulon should probably be up here in a second. Um, and boom, there's my Yulon. So 153, about the same. Same damage again. I scuffed up. Um, but yeah, again, 65, 25. So again, the pattern is uh, repeat. It's about the same. 
um, between Icarus and Uland and whoever you want to put in the back line for whatever you want. So whatever type of support you want. Alice for the off-field DPS clones, Lynn for off-field DPS uh, fields, and um, uh, Saki for uh survivability i guess because you could use saki for iframes to be more practical you could use it for more skill resets you can use it for triggering fantasia i think all of these are all viable teams they all will work especially for a free to play and um uh dolphin not a heavy spender because the big wheels obviously you want to maximize your dps but for those that don't have the B DPS, you know, if you lose 5 10 per 10% of your DPS for more survivability or some other utility, it doesn't really make that much of a difference. All right, so that was my quick overview of Yulon A0. I do want to do some more tests. Uh, I'm going to research a little bit and see what other people are doing too. Um, I, I want to make sure I thoroughly test her at A0 before I do increase her um, her ranking. I do, as of right now, I do have her at A3. I may take her all the way A6, and then I'm gonna do the same test for every star. Well, every star that makes a difference. Uh, so A1, A3, A6 uh, for sure. And see if there's a notable difference. There's probably a couple different patterns. I know with A3 and Fiona, there's a different pattern. Um, but with my Fiona being A0, it's probably not going to make a difference anyways. So I think this is the team I'm going to be sticking with. Yulon, uh, Alice, and Icarus. I actually may throw in Saki if I want more survivability or when I'm doing more solo content because I have more Fantasias and Freezes uh, with Saki. Uh, it makes it easier to solo content when something is pretty much perma frozen. Um, so anyways, that's it for me. Hopefully this was helpful. Let me know if there's something glaring I completely missed. I know this was kind of long, um, but yeah, Yulon is definitely a huge benefit to Frost. Uh, I know there are other Frost teams like using Frig as well. Frig will probably work pretty good, again, in that third slot, that some type of support slash utility slot. So anyways, that's it for me. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more of this, let me know by liking the video, subscribing, or just let me know below. Uh, I'll be more than happy to make some more. It's just these videos take so long to make. The testing takes so long. That's why I don't even have much time to edit it. So anyways. Catch y'all next one.